You know, it's only been a few months since the launch of the iPhone 15 series, but uh, you know how it works. Speculation surrounding the upcoming 2024 iPhone 16 lineup began pretty much the day after we got to see the current iPhones. We obviously don't cover all of it, but once we get analysts, insiders, and uh, insiders then agree with some of the leakers, well, then it's time for another deep dive. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's talk about the iPhone 16 series and what we know so far. Let's begin with the design. Reports claim that Apple experimented with various options for the standard iPhone 16 models and settled on a vertical camera setup featuring a pill-shaped bump. This departure from the square-shaped bump seen in previous models allows for a similar profile. The pill-shaped bump houses separate wide and ultra-wide lenses with the microphone positioned nearby and the flash located outside the bump on the back of the device. Additionally, Apple intends to replace the mute switch on the left side of the iPhone with an action button, consistent with the design introduced with the iPhone 15 Pro models. Below that, you'll get the volume buttons, and then on the right side, it seems we might get a capture button on the area where we had an antenna before. Now, on the pro side of the lineup, multiple sources suggest that both models will feature larger displays. The iPhone 16 Pro is expected to come with a 6.27-inch screen, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max is anticipated to boast a 6.85-inch panel. This enlargement in display size will result in increased dimensions, as both models are expected to be taller and wider compared to the iPhone 15 Pro model, though it is reported that thickness remains unchanged, even if these changes will come at the expense of more weight. Now, an interesting change is that we might get better OLED panels on the iPhone 16 lineup, as they might integrate micro lens array technology to enhance brightness, viewing angles, and power efficiency. Micro lens arrays employ billions of uniform lenses with the panel to minimize internal reflection, thereby boosting perceived brightness without consuming more power. Additionally, the OLED displays utilized on these iPhone 16 devices are expected to be more energy efficient due to advancements in the materials. Now, when it comes to horsepower, rumors continue to suggest that the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus will feature an A17 chip, notice, not Pro. It's speculated to defer from the A17 Pro chip found on the iPhone 15 Pro models, though we're still trying to clarify in what way. Apple is reportedly employing TSMC's N3B process for the A18 Pro chip, or whatever its name will be, while planning to utilize the more cost-effective N3E process for the standard A17 chip currently under development. Now, typically Apple does not custom design chips specifically for the standard iPhone models, but a lot has changed since the iPhone 14 models, where Apple started differentiating the Pro models through features and capabilities, which demanded a more powerful chip. So far, Apple has spent the last two years using their flagship chip from another year, but given the dramatic change brought from the A17 Pro, it does make sense for Cupertino to follow a different route this year. Some sources claim that the A17 name made sense this year, but uh, Jeff Pooh believes that Apple will opt for an A18 and A18 Pro naming convention to standardize the way these sound, which is not necessarily my favorite. Now, a major improvement is that it is reported that the upcoming iPhone 16 models are anticipated to introduce a revamped thermal design aimed at addressing overheating issues. Reports suggest that Apple is developing a graphene thermal system for the iPhone 16 lineup, potentially enhancing heat management. Moreover, the iPhone 16 Pro models may feature a metal battery casing, which uh, could further improve heat dissipation capabilities. Now, when it comes to software, the biggest question everyone has is, what is Apple going to do about AI? Rumors suggest that with the release of iOS 18, Apple will introduce new Siri features leveraging large language models, with some advanced generative AI capabilities possibly reserved for the iPhone 16 models. Information leaked by a source indicates that while iOS 18 will bring many of the new LLM features to all iPhones that support it, on-device AI functionality may be exclusive to the iPhone 16. The updated AI functionality in iOS 18 could encompass enhanced interactions between Siri and the messaging application, automatically generated Apple Music playlist, integration with productivity apps for AI-assisted content creation, and other additional features as Apple does have a ton of in-house apps. Now let's switch over to the cameras. Things continue to get 
interesting, let's just say, as reports claim that iPhone 16 Pro models will incorporate an enhanced 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor, which promises improved performance in low light conditions. This lens is expected to operate similar to the 48 megapixel primary camera, employing pixel binning to merge data from four pixels into a single super pixel, thereby enhancing image quality. And remember how Apple has been the first company to do so with microns that are larger than just the typical that we see with other companies. Furthermore, reports indicate that the 48 megapixel primary camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature an eight part hybrid lens comprising two glass elements and six plastic elements. Additionally, upgrades are expected for the telephoto and ultra wide camera lenses. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max might receive 5x telephoto lenses in 2024, expanding this technology beyond just the, the large Pro Max variant, though I actually liked the 3x. Now, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is rumored to potentially include a super telephoto periscopic camera offering significantly enhanced optical zoom capabilities. This information originated from a Weibo account known for its past accuracy, though it has not been corroborated by another reliable source. Typically, super or ultra telephoto lenses have focal lengths exceeding 300 millimeters. Now, given the current telephoto lens is an equivalent of 77 millimeters on the Pro and 120 on the Pro Max. If accurate, this addition could result in a significant boost in zoom capabilities. Now, when it comes to battery life, which we all wish got better, reports indicate that the iPhone 16 Pro models may adopt stacked battery technology, a development promising increased capacity and extended lifespan. While stacked batteries are common in electric vehicles and medical devices, they represent an emerging technology when it comes to smartphones. This advancement in battery design might coincide with faster 40 watt wired charging and 20 watt MagSafe charging for the iPhone 16 Pro models at least. Now, as for pricing and availability, it seems component costs for the standard iPhone 15 models soared to a record high, rising by 16% compared to the 14 models, most likely due to inflation. Despite absorbing the increased production costs of the iPhone 15 lineup, Apple may need to consider raising prices to the launch of the iPhone 16 to maintain overall revenue. So yeah, it's not a crazy idea that they might get more expensive, though we wish they didn't because they are already more expensive. The iPhone 16 models are anticipated to be released in September 2024 following the 2023 iPhone 15 models. Additionally, reports suggest that the new Pro models will introduce two fresh color options named Desert Titanium and Titanium Gray, I guess, though I'm trying to understand what they mean with that one. Anyways, to conclude, let's just say Apple might be geared to bring some interesting updates to its new iPhones, but not necessarily a major departure from what we currently have right now, at least on the Pro models, though that could be debated. I mean, the changes in the cameras and the changes in the design of the base models could be significant. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, follow us on social media, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on my personal handles to see me cover more rumors in a single video than ever before. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.